G'day YouTubers, Aaron here. I haven't made a video in quite a long time, so uh, today I thought I'd post this little video using the Haas Super Mini Mill 2. I'm in my CNC workshop at Harvester Technical College, that's where I'm employed, and uh, I'm giving uh, HSM Works a trial. And I must say a big thank you and a big shout out to CAD Pro Systems Limited in New Zealand. Uh, the boys over there, Scott, Gavin and Matthew, have been very supportive and uh, have bent over backwards to help me in every, you know, any way possible. Um, these guys have given me HSM Works to, uh, you know, as you know, HSM uh, lives native, it's a native, it's a native file to SolidWorks, and it's just uh, very easy to use. I downloaded it, oh, what, three days ago. Um, I started playing around with it today, entered all the data into the tool library, and yeah, and I produced my first part. So look, s stay tuned, I'm gonna start the mill up now and show you. What I might do, I might show you the CAD file. So you can have a little bit of a look and then I'll start the mill up and show you what it looks like. Well here's the uh, the lift nut that I've drawn in SolidWorks. I'm just about to simulate that now for you with HSM Works. And if I'd, I've got the simulation paused so I'll start it up now. It uh, does a facing cycle, a pocket cycle, drilling. And an outside profile as well. Here's the end of the lift nut and I'll just uh, simulate that for you as well. Doing an outside profile. Then I'll do a, a peck drilling cycle to drill the center hole. And there we have it. I must, I must say guys, it's, um, I'm gobsmacked on how easy uh, this program is to uh, is to use, not to mention how well it, uh, it posted to the uh, Super Mini Mill. I didn't have any problems at all. Uh, put it straight on the nerd stick, USB drive, straight into the controller and pulled it up, no problem at all.
Well, this will give you a good idea what I made today in the Haas and the Super Mini Mill 2. Um, this is the lift nut for a CNC conversion I'm doing. I'm very happy with the, with the results. It came out very good indeed. Um, here's some of the other parts. Now, these are the parts I made at home on my own Titan CNC machine, the clone Grizzly G704, whatever they are. Uh, it hasn't come out too bad either. That's for the, um, the Z column. And there's the side plate as well. Okay, here's the little Titan um, TM25 still sitting here. Um, I'll show you this where it actually goes, where it gets installed. So this is the Z axis. I'll just slide this in here. That will go down in there, like so. I'll come around. This plate here has been made to go in there. That will fit in there and mount in there. There's just a little bit of uh, builder's bog in there where they've puttied it up, but I believe it should fit in there perfectly. There's plenty of room there. Give you an idea. Now, I'll pull this out. Excuse me. And the lift nut, guys, is designed to go onto the end here. Like so. Now I'm very happy with that.